to record it. So some uh, courses uh, that you take uh, will uh, use this uh, website, uh, but some other courses will not. But uh, I mainly use this course to uh, to post the um, class materials and homeworks and so on. Okay, so. Yeah, so this is a uh, yeah Blackboard website, and uh, uh, if you go to this uh, course tab, and then uh, it will list up uh, the courses that you take. And then, yeah, this is called this uh, uh, Mass Co Mass Four uh, Computer Science, and this course is uh, about matrix computation. Uh, what is matrix called in Korean? Hanger. Hanger, yeah. What about uh, hang in English? What is Row. it called? Row? Yeah. Row. Okay. What about the uh, yard? How? Right. Yeah. So, um, Matrix, uh, I think uh, you already uh, studied or learned about yeah, some, yeah, some uh, contents about this uh, matrix is in uh, your high school. Uh, it's uh, basically um, composed of a set of numbers. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2, 3, 1, minus 1, 2, 0. Something like that, okay? So this is called a matrix, right? It's a set of uh, numbers uh, which has the shape of this uh, rectang rectangle. And then this has this uh, horizontal, um, yeah, horizontal shape of these numbers, uh, which we call uh, rows. And then the vertical sets of numbers, uh, which we call uh, columns, okay? Yeah, so this is uh, this course is about this matrix, and uh, I think uh, uh, you already know uh, how we um, multiply this matrix uh, with the vector. For example, zero 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 two. <coughs> Although it's a little blurry, but uh, if you imagine the multiplication of this matrix and this vector, you should be able to uh, compute the, the result easily, right? And so this uh, matrix multiplication is a key part in this course, and also, yeah, as you will see in, uh, later in this course, uh, the linear equation, uh, and solving this uh, linear equation um, is mainly done uh, using this uh, matrix kind of things, okay? What about the linear systems? Uh, uh, do you guys know uh, what is called in Korean? Yeah. Linear system. Linear means 선형, no. right? And system is just system. Uh, so, yeah, it's a 선형 system, but uh, uh, more practically, it's uh, uh, 연립방정식. Okay, so it's a set of equations. Okay, especially when especially uh, your equation is in a uh, uh, linear form. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, matrix computations and uh, linear, yeah, uh, this uh, systems of an equations or linear systems, and then vector space and eigenvalues and uh, yeah, things like that. Okay, it's uh, completely okay that you don't know about this yet. Yeah. Uh, those, <laughs> yeah. So, I'm 
저희도 교육 과정도 고등학교 <웃음> 때문에 막 네. 심열도 고등 고교 과정이 삭제되고 이래가지고 그래요? 안 잡고 있어요. 아니 누가 그런 몹쓸 짓을 했나? <웃음> 자, so, yeah, let me ask uh, one question. So, uh, uh, did you guys learn uh, inner product between uh, vectors? 내적, 내적 배운 사람, 내적, 내적. 코사인, 세타 뭐 이런 거 내적 갖고 배워 배웠던 사람. 안 배운 사람. So, can you raise a hand uh, if you didn't learn uh, the inner product or the vector vector multiplication? We only learned inner product. Only inner product? 뭐 평면의 방정식 이런 거. 평면의 방정식. <웃음> 삼, 삼수선 정리. 네? 삼수선 정리 안 배운 사람. 중학교 때 나오는 거야? So, 네? 그런 것까지 배우는데 외적까지는 안 배우고 외적이요? 그런 건안 배워요. 외적, 외적은 다행히. 근데 힘들이 빠지니까 좀 그래요. 그럼 여기 이과 아닌 사람, 저 so, 이과 아닌 사람. 오케이, okay, so this is a textbook. I think it should be uh, available in the bookstore in. In this school, and uh, the book name is book title is uh, linear algebra in, uh, and uh, its applications, uh, written by this guy David uh, Lay. And then some course schedules. Yeah, solving uh, systems of linear equations, which are basically solving uh, a set of uh, linear equations, or Yolipang uh, Jongsik, and then. We learn about this vector matrices and uh, solution sets and uh, this uh, linear independence and matrix operations and inverse and LU factorizations and so on. Yep. And then uh, this is uh, uh, probably one of the most important part, uh, which is about the grading policy. So we will uh, have about probably six, yeah, at least uh, six homers. Those total number of homers uh, might change, but uh, uh, we will basically uh, have a homework um, with which you have to solve some pro exercise problems from your book. But uh, yeah, uh, in this semester, I will try to emphasize some uh, programming uh, assignments. So yeah, not only just uh, solving uh, just uh, uh, mass uh, problems, you you will also uh, have to do a little bit of a programming, okay? And uh, this is not for uh, giving you uh, more burdens, but uh, it's uh, mainly uh, uh, about uh, yeah enhancing your kind of feelings and uh, uh, get an understanding about uh, how these uh, uh, mass yeah mathematical techniques are actually uh, utilized in the real world problems. And uh, I believe uh, those uh, programming assignment will use the programming language called uh, MATLAB. Okay. So this is an acronym for Matrix Laboratory, and this is a uh, quite an uh, expensive software, and. Um, <clears throat> But uh, fortunately, uh, this school, yeah, owing to your uh, tuition, uh, this school uh, gives uh, this software for free. Okay, <clears throat> so it, uh, it might be probably yeah, the only uh, the only chance uh, that we use uh, that you will uh, use this software for free. And uh, yeah, personally, I use this a lot uh, for my own research uh, with, uh, with my students. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, quite uh, convenient uh, programming languages. So. Um, yeah, we will uh, do some uh, programming assignments using this language. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> for those of the, yeah, those of you 
who do not, uh, who are not familiar with the, this uh, uh, website, we have this. I hope this connects. Let's see. <coughs> So you guys can uh, download the, the free software uh, provided by the school from two, uh, yeah, in two ways. The first one is this FTP website uh, at this uh, ftp.koreaacr, but the protocol is not HTTP, but uh, it's uh, starting with the F FTP colon slash slash and so on. And then, yeah, it contains uh, yeah, various softwares such as a uh, Illustrator from uh, Adobe and uh, uh, yeah, Adobe. Which what? Which version? Yes, or uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. But uh, I actually don't know. So let's see. Microsoft Office and Windows and so on. But the, but the Windows uh, should be installed in some uh, uh, computers registered by the school, not your not at your personal computers. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, and then uh, about the exam, um, we will uh, have three exams in total, two midterms and uh, one final. And the ten tentative schedule about this exam uh, is these days, is these dates, and uh, it's a, a close book and uh, close note uh, exam, and then uh, uh, yeah, it's not of course a uh, take home exam or so. Uh, yeah, you have to take the exam uh, in this classroom. And uh, this uh, class participation um, takes uh, about 5%. But um, I'm planning to emphasize this uh, class participation. So, yeah, uh, I plan to uh, ask, ask many questions to you guys. And uh, if you... Um, yeah, if you're the one that answers this, uh, these questions and then, yeah, I remember you guys and then uh, give a, a credits about this. And then about the um, attendance. Yeah, uh, I actually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, considered uh, not checking this attendance, but uh, I finally, yeah, I just uh, decided to check these uh, attendance. Okay, but uh, it will be done uh, occasionally, not, it may not be every time. And uh, definitely for, uh, uh, yeah, every time I will check uh, only sub, some subset of uh, you guys. So I will not check all of you, but uh, some of them who mainly missed, uh, mainly missed uh, many times last, yeah, previously. Okay, so I have some uh, programs that I wrote. Um, to give uh, more probability to those students uh, who missed uh, uh, mo uh, more classes. And then uh, with the high, higher probability, those uh, students will be sampled for, for those that I call uh, for the um, attendance. Okay? And uh, if you miss uh, one class from uh, this attendance check, and then uh, out of 100 uh, points in total, so we have uh, 40, 30, and uh, 25 in total, uh, yeah, uh, with this uh, five percent, uh, we have a hundred percent. But uh, if you miss uh, one class, and then uh, I will deduct point uh, five percent from your uh, uh, total, uh, yeah, total score at the end. Okay. So if you missed uh, maybe uh, ten times of a class, and then uh, even though you uh, you did a per yeah you did a perfectly on uh, every course and every homework. Yeah, but in that case, uh, yeah, your highest score possible will be 95, right? Because you will be deducted like this point, right? <clears throat> Any questions so far? What do you say? Yeah. 
요즘 그런 거 아니야. 대학교는 뭐 어떤지 모르겠는데 다른 데서는 뭐 보통 지각이나 그런 그런 거세 번을 한 번째 써 고쳐가지고 하는 거 말이야. 오케이 okay, then uh, yeah I'll probably uh, uh, call the uh, check the attendance in the middle of the class not in the very beginning of the class but I will not accept the the yeah late attendance okay just for convenience what about that so yeah if I um, yeah so in the case of like um, um, yeah accepting this uh, uh, late attendance and then uh, yeah, some yeah I've seen some uh, like a uh, unfortunate cases of uh, some student abusing it. So <laughs> so if I check the attendance and then uh, that student uh, didn't yeah didn't attend, uh, but uh, uh, some student uh, actually calls him and uh, texts him and then he later uh, comes uh, to the classroom at the very end of the class and then uh, to check the attendance. And then also, if I accept this uh, late attendance, and then uh, some student uh, might be uh, late, uh, uh, which might uh, uh, which might uh, lose uh, other other students' attentions uh, during the courses or focuses. Okay. So a free version of a MATLAB. Yeah, so I think uh, you can use this software, but uh, yeah, personally, I don't see any reason of uh, not using a MATLAB, uh, given that uh, it's uh, available for free uh, to us. Any other questions? Nay. Hangul 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 so you can, uh, yeah, you can just uh, uh, ask uh, questions or answer in Korean, of course. Okay. So I personally want to use uh, Korean, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a requirement uh, when I got hired in two years back that I have to teach yeah, virtually all the courses in in, in English. Okay. So that's uh, that's my uh, mandatory uh, duty. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Darren, do you want to say? I'll say. Okay, before uh, before we start the main courses, <coughs> so I'll yeah I'd like to just give some advices to to those uh, freshman students, yeah especially for Korean students. So yeah I'll, yeah I speak in Korean just of, yeah uh, just briefly. Yeah. Um. 혹시 뭐 대학 생활 궁금한 거 없어요? 공부의 팁이라든가. <laughs> 교양 과목 들을 때요 자기가 원하는 걸못 들어가지고 그 점점 기간을 노리고 있자, 있는데요 그때 뭐 교수님 다른 교수님한테 뭐 살살 빌려가지고 그 그래서 어떻게 어떻게 끼인겨 들어가는 게 가능하다고 한, 하다는 얘기가 있거든요 아 신규랑에서 제가 듣고 싶은 게 있었는데 막 차가 1학년 1학년 키로가 그 수강 신청 기간에 꽉 차가지고 더 늘어나는 거 아니지? 아, 네. 사실 내가 뭐 그걸 잘은 모르는데 아마 그 교수님한테 이메일을 보내서 이게 증원 계획이 있는지 보통 확인해 보고 그 다음엔 저기 증원 계획이 있으면 그때 때마침 때 맞춰서 뭐 재빨리 하거나 아니면 뭐 교수님이 바빠서 저기 답신이 없다 그러면 일단은 과사에 가서 확인을 하는 게 좋겠죠 아마 아 저기 그래요. 학지부라고 그러죠? 학사 지원부. 학사 지원부. 아, 이 건물 1층에. 네, 이 건물 1층에 있어요. So there is a uh, administ administrative office uh, where you can get some help about your uh, course registering and other other stuffs. Yeah, in, in in this department, computer science department. In the in the first floor, 
in this exact same building. 또 다른 질문 있어요? 책이요. 책이 뭐 사는 거를 추천하는데 사는 걸 추천하고요. 근데 아마도 뭐 PDF가 인터넷에 어둠의 경로 아니죠? 어둠의 경로요? 볼수 있는 그런 접두 뭔가 안 좋은 쪽으로의 의미를 나타내는 그런. 네, 맞아요. 뭐 들어간다고 뭐 있죠? 또? Malicious. Malicious? Yeah. 또? Malware라고 들어봤죠? Malware. 네. Mal을 하는 외우가 아니라 Malware. 악성코드라는 뜻이죠. 네, 악성코드라는 뜻이죠. 네, 또 다른 질문 있어요? 해요. 그러면 뭐 그리고 뭐 네, 아까 뭐 간단하게 하려던 이야기는 <웃음> 1학년이랑 놀지 말고요. 공부 열심히 하세요. 나도 참 대학교 때 많이 놀면서 아직까지 땅을 치고 후회하는 사람 중에 한 명이고요. <웃음> 그리고 생각보다 뭐 1학년 때 아니면은 저기 고등학교 때 네? 고등학교 때 배웠던 것들이 사실 여러분 인생에서 되게 중요한 역할을 하는 경우들이 많아서 실제로 뭐 그래요 뭐 그런 인공지능 쪽뭐 관련한 것들을 관련한 거는 뭐 알파고 알고리즘 같은 거 그런 거 이제 아 이거 도대체 어떻게 동작하는 건가 배우려고 하면 그 미분이 제일 중요한 요소거든요 어전 그래서 합성 함수의 미분 같은 거 배웠죠 안 배웠어요? 카테오도리 보조 정리 활용해서 뭐 증명한다 얘기 들어본 적은 있는데 네? 무슨 보조 정리? 카테오도리의 보조 정리 카테오도리? 네 오. 저도 논술 책에서 가면 보기만 해가지고 네. 그게 말이 보급 과정이지 응. 그 기억도 못할 정도로 복잡해요 어, 나도 처음 들어봤는데 이건 이거 미분하고 어떻게 되죠 이거? So what about the, the answer for this question? And then, what is that? What is the rest? Yeah. <coughs> So yeah, when uh, taking the derivative, uh, uh, we yeah first uh, uh, we first uh, treat this uh, pink box as just a single variable like x squared. So here, x corresponds to this um, pink box, and then uh, we take the derivative, and then we know. The derivative of it is 2x, and that's why we have um, this 2 times sine x. And then now we go deep into this uh, pink box, and pink box is not actually x, but it's actually sine x. And so we take a, we further take the derivative of it, and then <coughs> multiply it with the previous part, right? <coughs> so this is an answer, and the the rule or the trick. That we use it used here is called a chain rule, because we we kind of uh, treat the the this module as one single kind of variable, and then uh, do the um, uh, uh, compute the derivative, and then uh, go deeper inside at at, uh, at the one more level, and uh, more and so on, right? So this is like a, uh, like a pulling the chains, right? 
So that's why we call this as a chain rule. 그다음에 이거 뭐라고 그러죠? 한국말로? chain rule. 그냥 연쇄 법칙. 연쇄 법칙. <웃음> 연쇄 살인마는 뭐라고 그러죠? 영어로. Yeah, serial killer. Yeah, serial is a yeah, another kind of a yeah word for. <웃음> 네? Continuous. Continuous killer. Continuous killer. Uh, I think you're about that. Right, yeah. <laughs> so continuous is like a really continuous, not so, but the serial or yeah, this kind of yeah, sequential thing is a, a little bit more discrete. One, two, three, and so on. But uh, in the case of continuing, it's like uh, you're killing uh, continuously uh, all the time, uh, which is uh, really difficult. Right? But, anyways, yeah. So this is called the chain rule, and this is the key and main, uh, yeah, main component in the, yeah, in the uh, creating or developing the um, uh, uh, AlphaGo algorithm or other, uh, yeah, neural network algorithm. <coughs> okay, so yeah, the 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 lesson that I wanted to. Uh, yeah, emphasize was to just uh, study hard, and uh, this course, yeah, this course uh, may, yeah, maybe, uh, may become uh, your savior in uh, in your li entire life. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I personally use uh, this uh, linear algebra a lot uh, in the in the graduate level courses and uh, teaching uh, those graduate level uh, students, and for my own research. So it's. It has really uh, wide uh, usages in uh, many different fields, so I strongly believe this course is uh, quite useful if you if you do very well in this course. But uh, this is just a math course, so you might find, uh, yeah, you may not have a good idea while yeah uh, while studying this course, you may not have a good idea about like uh, where to apply this uh, this technique. It's all about like uh, solving a. a Set of equations and so on, uh, which which seems to be quite uh, remote from your uh, real life, but it's actually connected tightly to your real life. And uh, hopefully, I will uh, introduce as many examples as possible uh, during these courses to uh, motivate you guys and give more kind of a, uh, interesting aspects about this course. Yeah, but at the same time, <clears throat> this is math math course, so uh, some part. Uh, for some part, uh, uh, in order to do well, uh, you have to exercise yourself uh, and uh, invest your time, okay, in order to uh, do a good job in this course. So, yeah, please uh, keep up with uh, those homework problems and uh, the, uh, these lectures, okay. Any other questions? Uh, 아까 이야기했듯이 그 블랙보드 웹사이트 있죠? 네, 요거. So if you go to this uh, Blackboard website, again, this is website is called a Blackboard, but the URL is uh, uh, kulms.korea.ac.kr, and then this website uh, will have the course materials. And usually I post this, uh, these uh, class materials um, yeah, just bef yeah at night uh, yeah at the uh, at the night yeah at night uh, in the yeah, one day earlier. Uh, so please check uh, the latest one. Uh, yeah, probably in the yeah in the morning of the same day uh, for the lecture. So as you yeah you can just uh, uh, access this website right now in the in this uh, course materials tab. Uh, this uh, this was the uh, course uh, uh, introductory slides and syllabus, and then this uh, lecture one is this PDF. Okay. Any other questions? Sorry, but what is the the name of the book? The name of the book.
It's this one. And there are probably at least uh, three, four, uh, uh, three, four uh, other textbooks that, that has the exact same title, but written by different uh, authors. And also for this book, it has a uh, yeah, it's uh, saying this a uh, fifth edition. Right, so I think still a uh, fourth edition is uh, uh, for sale. I mean, uh, it's being sold currently. So please make sure to um, yeah get the book. Written by this guy, David Lay, and uh, uh, fifth edition book. And the uh, ne. 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 내용이 거의 똑같은데 연습 문제가 조금씩 달라졌어요. 지금 숙제를 한 숙제를 하는 데 있어서 이제 내가 뭐 번호만 이렇게 내는데. 그 번호를 이 책에 있는 거를 가지고 좀 하는 게 좋을 것 같아요. 네, no, it's the same. Yes. Yeah. So the book cover may be different uh, if you buy this book. It's a U.S. version or uh, the American version and the the. The international version that uh, you will buy from your uh, from the bookstore nearby will have a different uh, book cover and colors. Okay, but essentially the, the content is exactly the same. <clears throat> okay, let's start. The main course. <clears throat> okay, for yeah, from now on, for maybe two or three weeks, uh, you will uh, study about how to solve set of uh, uh, linear equations, or yeah, as I said, yoli uh, Okay, so we will learn how to solve these uh, set of equations, and then <clears throat> I believe uh, you guys already studied um, how to solve these uh, linear, uh, yeah, set of linear equations uh, back from your uh, middle schools and also in a uh, high school. Yeah, so it, in the beginning, it's that easy. So it's uh, quite easy, but uh, yeah, there should be uh, yeah, there will be a little bit jump. Uh, from time to time, so yeah, if you uh, if you do not pay attention because you 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 pre yeah you you know uh, the uh, some parts, uh, but uh, you have to really uh, pay attention and uh, uh, closely follow the course because uh, uh, sometimes uh, there should be some jumps uh, the, uh, where suddenly you don't yeah you have no idea what uh, what I'm saying so. Yeah, please uh, yeah, pay close attention uh, uh, all the time uh, during the lecture. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, set of linear equations and also solving uh, this uh, linear equation is yeah, it's called this systems of linear equation or uh, in short linear system. And then uh, uh, there are a few definitions that we have to be familiar with. The first one is a linear equation. So uh, equation involves the variable, uh, which is an unknown, right? So we do not know yet the exact value for these uh, variable, like x1 through xn, or in general, x plus 2y equals 3 minus x plus 3y equals 2. Right? So this is basically one example of a linear system. Right? And then those x and y are called variable, but these variable could be really uh, uh, large numbers. I mean, uh, yeah, the number of these uh, variables that we have to solve uh, uh, in one uh, linear system could be really large. So instead of using x, y, z, and w, and so on, we actually enumerate them 
by using all x uh, and then enumerate it uh, from 1 through n. So we have in total n uh, different uh, variables. Okay, and Then we have these uh, coefficients of x1, a1 and a2 and so on that are associated with uh, each of these uh, variables. And at the end, uh, we have some constant on the uh, right hand side. So in this example, <clears throat> So x1 becomes x and y, uh, x2 becomes y, and then a1 and a2 will be 1 and 2, and b will become 3. So this uh, one equation, <coughs> which has this form, is called uh, this uh, linear equation. And the reason for uh, calling this as a linear is because it doesn't involve any, any nonlinear uh, terms, like x squared or sine x, or log x, or e to the power of an x, and so on. So all, all those uh, which are not linear, um, yeah, so in that case, uh, we do not call that as a linear equation. So it really uh, has to involve only the variables to the power of 1, OK? So nonlinear equations is like, yeah, an example of it is like x squared plus 2y is 3 and uh, minus x squared plus 3y equals 2. So it definitely involves x squared, which is not linear, right? So linear means the variable to the power of 1 all the time, okay? And there are combinations with the plus, I mean the addition or subtraction. So that is the, the, uh, the, the meaning of this uh, linear equation. And then system of uh, linear equation is basically a set of these equations, okay? So this uh, is uh, one example of this a system of linear equations, and then in short, it's called a linear system, okay? <clears throat> and then the solution or root of the system is the list of uh, these variables, x1, xn, so yeah. The um, particular values uh, that satisfies this kind of equation. Yeah, so it's uh, quite obvious. So, what does it mean by solving this uh, linear system or, or this set of equations? Uh, that actually is the same as the task of identifying the value of x and y, right? So, this is uh, solving this uh, uh, equations or set of equations, okay? The solution for these values yeah, is actually uh, called the solution. <clears throat> and then they are denoted as this uh, S1 and S2 and so on. So in this case, the x becomes 1 and y becomes 1. When x and y are 1, and then uh, they will satisfy these two equations. right? So S1 will become 1 and S2 will become 1. Okay. Those particular set of values satisfying all these equations in our linear systems is called this a solution. <coughs> and then uh, this uh, solution may be just one, but also there may be some uh, many solutions. Okay, so yeah, collecting all these are possible, uh, all these are different solutions. Uh, we call that set as a solution set. What is the set? What is the list? List. List is more. I don't know. List is more. List is more. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let me ask this question. So, uh, what is the difference between set and the list? So, it's uh, probably useful, and probably you will learn or study this uh, in some of your uh, programming. Programming courses. 네, list was set. Yeah, set is uh, um, yeah set doesn't uh, doesn't consider the um, orders. I mean, uh, the order doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter in the case of a set, but list uh, in the case of list, the order yeah actually matters, right? <coughs> 그러니까 집합은 뭐 순서 이렇게 원소가 바뀌어도 상관없죠. 그리고 뭐 네. 리스트는 정확하게 그 순서여야지 되는 거예요. 
이렇게 and then 저기서 그 소수점수의 원소가 네. 다 S1에서 S까지 나열하는 순서상을 하나의 원소로 보는 거예요. Yeah. yeah, right. So, yeah, the student asked a good question. So, let's see. So let me give you another uh, example for linear system. Like, yeah, it's the same, but uh, now let's use x1 and x2. Okay, so in this case, x1 becomes 1 and x2 becomes 1, which means yeah, by following this notation, one solution can be written as 1 comma 1, right? And then <clears throat> we can of course uh, satisfy this equation when x1 and x2, no. Yeah, can anyone tell what should be x2 when x1 is 2? What should be x2? Yeah, what about you? Half. half, yeah, a half, right? So in this case, uh, we can see there is another solution of this guy, right? So at least we see two different solutions, right? And then what about the solution set? The solution set will be 1 comma 1 and and uh, uh, you guys see that uh, there there are many more different solutions, right? And so there should be uh, some other uh, elements in these set, right? So here uh, each element is actually one particular list of values, right? List of the values corresponding to x1 through xn, right? <clears throat> okay. And that is the uh, solution set. And then now we think about two different uh, linear systems. So one linear system and then the other linear system where uh, each set uh, involves or contains multiple sets of equations. So at least this kind of a linear systems will involve uh, maybe, maybe two equations. For example, in this case, we see two equations in one linear system. And then let's imagine another linear system that has also uh, some numbers of an equations. Okay, so we consider two different linear systems, and then they are equivalent if the solution set for each of them is exactly the same. Okay, <clears throat> just the same solution set. Any anywhere the same solution set. Yeah. So let's call this. Um, yeah, linear system as S1. So this linear system has the name of an S, S1. Okay. And then uh, let me give you another. Yeah, you guys see what I'm doing currently. Right. So let's call this linear system as S2. And these two have exactly the same solution set, right? And in that case, we say S1 and S2 are equivalent, okay? <clears throat> and what, what is the meaning of uh, same set? So when are the two sets are equal, uh, it means ne. Yeah, right. Should be twenty-seven. Okay. <clears throat> so it's just a uh, uh, yeah multiply the version uh, by three, right? So that's how we yeah how I uh, created another uh, system. <clears throat> and then uh, the, the meaning of uh, being the same sets, right? It means 
the element should be exactly the same between the two sets, right? So, yeah, let's just uh, consider the set or uh, GPOP. So, of course, A is not the same as B, right? And uh, if the two sets have exactly the same uh, uh, elements, and uh, that's uh, only uh, that's when we call these two sets are equal. Okay. <clears throat> and back to this uh, equivalent systems. Yeah. So you guys uh, now uh, know the meaning of it, right? <clears throat> okay. And then uh, in the case of a linear systems. In terms of the number of possible solutions, there are uh, three different cases. So the first one is actually the case where our solution set is just an empty set. Or, yeah, it can be written as this, right? So for example, x plus 2y equals 3, but 2x1 plus 4x2 is equal to 2. In that case, there is no solution or no particular values for x1 and x2 that satisfies both equations, right? You guys know that, right? So in that case, uh, it corresponds to this uh, no solution case. And then the other case is <clears throat> when we have exactly one solution. And then the third one is infinitely many solution. Okay, and this is a particular characteristic of a linear system. So we cannot have like two um, two solutions. Okay, so if you have a solution, uh, you can either have only one solution or infinitely many solution. Okay, and um, and this can be understood uh, geometrically as well. <clears throat> so you know, uh, yeah, you guys have probably studied um, solving this uh, linear system is actually, uh, yeah, it, it can be understood in this uh, two-dimensional plane, right? So one is, so x1 like x1, x2, and then uh, if we set up the um, uh, the linear equation, okay, and then x2, <coughs> mm, it's like this, right, yeah, and then if the other uh, other equation is really parallel, but they yeah uh, in terms of their slope, if they are parallel, and then uh, we see there is no no point that intersects between these two yeah two lines, right? So in that case, we have no solution. Okay, and then uh, what about the uh, infinitely many solutions? In that case, those two equations are uh, coinciding exactly with each other. In these cases, we see uh, infinitely many solutions. Okay, so but uh, what about like the case of having two solutions? Uh, it is impossible to have uh, two intersecting points by using only this uh, uh, linear shape or two straight lines, right? So that's why <coughs> we see, uh, yeah, we have either only one solution or infinitely many solution. I mean, in case we have a solution, right? Of course, <clears throat> in this case, uh, we have no solution. And then, more generally, if our uh, two lines, if two of our lines are like this, and then you guys know the coordinate of this intersecting point. Will corresponds to our solution, right? 
So this is kind of geometric kind of view or perspective of understanding the number of solutions and uh, what is the solution and the condition for it. And then if we have uh, many uh, more variables, and then <clears throat> yeah, we have to think about more uh, higher dimensional vectors. I mean, higher dimensional spaces. Like yeah, we can think about up to like three dimensions. But what if we have uh, four different variables, or five, or even like a hundred dimension, yeah, hundred variables. Like in the uh, in the case of an alpha alpha case, it's basically kind of a set of equations. It's basically solving a uh, yeah, solving the um, systems of equations, but uh, the equations are not linear. Okay, so equations could be like non-linear, but uh, the main techniques are all stemmed from from this uh, linear systems and uh, the the techniques for solving these uh, linear systems. But in that case, the number of variables that we have to solve uh, simultaneously is uh, is amounting like uh, maybe a hundred uh, thousand uh, different variables. So in that case, we have to think about 100,000 uh, uh, dimensions of the space, right? But uh, still, this kind of intuition uh, will apply in those uh, uh, more complicated cases, okay? <clears throat> okay, so these three cases are a really important part. And then for those two cases where we have at least one solution, in that case, we call this a linear system is a consistent, okay? So consistent means at least they are saying they are saying the same thing uh, for a particular solution. Yeah. So they have some some commonalities, right? Or this kind of intersections, okay? Where all these equations that we are given are true, okay? So that means uh, this thing kind of uh, consistent. The meaning of this uh, consistency. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, in case we have no solution, uh, it's called uh, inconsistent. Okay, inconsistent. <clears throat> okay, now uh, it's uh, it's now uh, showing an uh, important uh, conversion which is really critical part and uh, important part. So <clears throat> let's imagine this uh, one system. Okay, so now we have uh, three equations and then three unknowns or three unknown variables, x1, x2, and x3. Okay, in these cases, uh, we can actually convert and uh, represent them into a uh, rectangular shape of numbers. Okay, so that, it, uh, that is where this, um, the notion of a matrix comes in. <clears throat> so uh, we can convert this equation into this matrix. Okay. So here, yeah, you will see how we convert it, uh, or how we extracted those numbers into the matrices. Right. So we uh, brought. All those numbers, right, into this matrix. Right. So we extracted out all these uh, coefficients. <coughs> coefficients in Hangul, what? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, this is a uh, uh, called a uh, coefficient matrix. Okay. And then what about these guys? <coughs> what about those three numbers, uh, which are all on the right hand side? So they are some constant, right? And then uh, we can create the matrix by also involving 0, 8, and minus 9, right? Like this, right? So in that case, uh, we call that as a augmented matrix. So it's kind of an ex expanded version of the matrix from the coefficient matrix, okay? So we have a coefficient matrix, and then we have this uh, augmented matrix that also involves these uh, uh, constants on the right hand side. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, now uh, it's time to consider the size of a matrix. So,
So let's consider this matrix and then uh, 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 let me say, yeah, let me tell you this matrix is uh, uh, one type of an, uh, one augmented matrix from some linear equations. Okay, so in that case, yeah, purely from viewing this matrix, uh, we can, um, yeah, we can compute easily the size of a matrix. So the size is represented as 3 by 4. Okay, 3 times 4, but the, it's called a 3 by 4, which means we have 3 rows, then 4 columns. Okay, <clears throat> okay. so in this case, uh, yeah, uh, you guys know, uh, yeah, so I said that this is an augmented matrix, augmented matrix. And then, uh, yeah, let me ask the question. Yeah, given the size of a 3 by 4 augmented matrix, what is the number of equations? What is the number of equations? Three equations. Yeah, three equations. So if you imagine the convergence uh, from this uh, coefficient or augmented matrix back to this set of equations, we can easily figure out those numbers, right? The horizontal line, the number of horizontal line is corresponding to the number of equations, right? right. So we have three equations, and what about the number of variables? So uh, again, I said this is a, a, a augmented matrix. So what about, yeah, what is the number of variables? <coughs> yeah, the number of variable is three, right? Because the first one is like x1 plus 2x2, 3x3 equals 4, right? And so on. And so we should see uh, three variables in total, right? And uh, what if this matrix was a uh, coefficient matrix? Coefficient matrix, not augmented matrix. Then what about, what is the number of equations? Equation 3 or 4? No answer? Yeah, equation is uh, still 3, right? The number of equation is still 3. But what about the number of variables? It should be 4, <coughs> right? <coughs> so it should be corresponding to x1, 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, equals something. But uh, this uh, sum value is unknown because it's just a coefficient matrix. Okay? Oh, it's already over for the class. So, yeah, sorry for, yeah. Uh, yeah, taking oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's yeah wrap up the today's course and then uh yeah we will meet the uh, next Tuesday. Okay, thank you. ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、
아, 네. 지금이 2, 3교시 연속으로 한 건가요? 아니면? 아, 2교시만 한 거야. 이게 아마 될 거예요. 예. 예. 이 강의실 하여튼 정원이 이제 허용하는 하는 건다될 거니까요. 아마도 네, 할수 있을 거예요. 근데 언제 그 열리는지는 학사 지원부에서 한번 확인을 해보세요. 고맙습니다. 사실 다른 과정이라든가 수정고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고고